Hey brothers and sisters, Steve Monette here with another video in my Bible Prophecy Bites series where we look at Bible scripture, history, and current events that all point to the soon return of Jesus the Messiah. Okay, so for today's video, I want to talk about forced vaccinations and the mark of the beast. And over the past uh, you know, week or so, I've had an opportunity to look at uh, several videos. And many of you fellow watchmen are saying that the COVID-19 vaccine that is now being distributed throughout the country is not the mark of the beast, uh, the one that's described in, in, in Revelation 13. And up until tonight, I would have agreed with you. But tonight, tonight, December 18th, 2020, we have crossed the line that even I did not think that we would ever cross. Would you believe me if I told you that a COVID-19 vaccine can now be required to enter into your workplace? You better stop believing it because it is absolutely true. Reading from the U.S. government website, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, or the EEOC, a series of questions and answers are listed to help employers develop policies relative to the pandemic. Uh, and in this, it's a very, very long web, uh, web page. So and everything is literally just thrown together onto one page. So you have to scroll through it. And, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But what's really, really interesting is a new edition that just came out uh, within the past 24, 48 hours. And I will provide a link to this in the description box, okay? Reading from questions number K5, K6, and K7, we read that an employer can require an employee to receive a vaccination if they wish to stay employed regardless of your religious beliefs. That's right. Question K7 clearly states the following. If an employee cannot get vaccinated for COVID-19 because of a disability or sincerely held religious belief, practice, or observance, and there is no reasonable accommodation possible, then it would be lawful for the employer to exclude the employee from the workplace. So there you have it. The U.S. government has now decided that it is perfectly acceptable to require vaccinations in the workplace. And if you disagree, then you can be kept out of the workplace. And it does not take a rocket scientist to figure out that no work means no pay. And no pay means no buying. And no buying can translate to no selling. So brothers and sisters, there it is. It's right there. As a 911 paramedic working on the front lines of this pandemic, I have watched corporate managers, nurse managers, paramedic supervisors, town administrators, and public safety managers uh, think and believe that they can mitigate the spread of this virus through written policies. And it is a noble thought process. And of course, we must create policies and procedures to protect employees. But in all reality, it is impossible to control an airborne virus. You just can't do that. We may be able to mitigate it, but to stop it from infecting everyone because of a written policy? Not going to happen. Viruses don't read corporate policies before infecting employees. That we can be assured of. How do I know this? Well, I've treated in excess of 100 plus patients with either active COVID infections or COVID type symptomology. I wear my mask faithfully. I change my mask after every call. I, I wore eye protection on every single call. Many calls where we knew it was COVID positive, we would wear um, uh, gowns as we call them, uh, like a Tyvek suit type of thing. We wore N95 masks, gloves. Uh, we would disinfect the truck after every call. In fact, my fingers uh, were split open uh, because I was washing my hands so frequently uh, over the past uh, you know, couple of uh, weeks or so because of the cold weather setting in. I followed every policy that my supervisors wrote. And guess what? 
On December 5th, 2020, I was diagnosed as having COVID-19. Thankfully, I had very, very, very minor symptoms. In fact, I've had head colds that were far worse than this virus. Uh, in fact, I, uh, I have the okay to return to work uh, in the next uh, 48 hours. But here's another interesting point that you've got to be aware of because it, it helps paint this entire picture. Three days ago, my former employer issued an email stating that vaccines were not going to be required uh, for personnel in the near future. Tonight, that same employer issued a second email asking for a list of names of those people who would be interested in getting the vaccine. And the precept for this second email was planning purposes. Think about that one, okay? Tonight, the U.S. government has said that any employer in this country can now require a vaccine to come to work. May God help us. We are there. So brothers and sisters, keep looking up. I really hope our redemption is drawing very near. Thanks for watching.